Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the divisibility rule for 9. Now remember, when we're checking for divisibility, we're checking to see if we can divide without getting a remainder, so the given numbers work out exactly. In the case of this video, we're going to go through four examples here and see if they are divisible by 9 based on the rule at the top of the screen. So if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, that means the original number is divisible by 9. Let's jump into our examples here and see what that rule means. So for number 1, we have 918. Let's find the sum of the digits. So 9 plus 1 plus 8. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 8 is 18. So that's our sum. Now is 18 divisible by 9? Yes, because if we do 18 divided by 9, we get an answer of 2 without a remainder. So since our sum of 18 is divisible by 9, that means our original number, 918, is divisible by 9 as well. So on to number 2, where we have 33,502. Let's find the sum of the digits, and we'll go from there. So 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2. So 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 5 is 11, plus 2 equals 13. So 13 is not divisible by 9, therefore our original number, 33,502, is not divisible by 9 either. On to number 3, where we have 9,890,550. So let's find the sum, 9 plus 8 plus 9, plus 5, plus 5. So 9 plus 8 is 17, plus 9 is 26, plus 5 is 31, plus 5 is 36. 36 divided by 9 is 4 without a remainder, so 36 is divisible by 9, therefore 9,890,550 is divisible by 9 as well. And lastly, number four, we have 4,607,928. So let's take the sum of the digits and see what we end up with. So four plus six is 10, plus seven is 17, plus nine is 26, plus two is 28, plus eight, and we get a 36, just like number 3 there, so we know 36 is divisible by 9, therefore 4,607,928 is divisible by 9 as well. So there you have it. There's the divisibility rule for 9. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.